morning water treatment softening of water by ion exchange method ion exchange or demineralization or deionization process the principle this is a reversible exchange of ions between a liquid phase and a solid phase materials capable of exchange of cations are called cation exchanger and those which are capable of exchanging anions are called anion exchanger in the ion exchange process the cations are exchanged with hydrogen ions and anions are exchanged with hydroxide ions for this two type of ion exchangers are commonly employed which are insoluble cross linked long chain organic polymer with microscopic structure diagram this is a raw water inlet cation exchanger gravels the washings the acidic water is passed in the anion exchanger here is the washing the gravels the deionized water which is passed in the degasifier the cation exchanger is regenerated by acidic solution anion exchanger by alkaline solution here is the process here we can see this diagram which is not to be drawn it is just for the understanding so the raw water is passed in the cation exchanger where all the cations are retained by the cation exchanger and it gives equivalent amount of hydrogen ion cation exchangers are represented with the general formula rh these are mainly styrene divinyl benzene copolymer containing the functional group carboxylation or sulfonation in rh r is the general structure of the resin so this styrene divinyl benzene copolymer it is the general structure we cannot write the structure every time so we represent it by r and hydrogen ion is the exchangeable with cation now the reactions the cation exchange is written as rh these are the salts in water like calcium bicarbonate we can see the magnesium bicarbonate calcium sulfate magnesium sulfate calcium nitrate and magnesium nitrate so the cations are being retained by the cation exchanger bed that is rh so it is retained by the cation exchanger bed and hydrogen ion are being given out so here we can see this is an h2o co3 h2so4 hno3 this this is nothing but the acidic water i repeat here all the cations are retained by the cation exchanger bed and equivalent amount of hydrogen ion is given that is exchangeable of calcium ions with hydrogen ions and we get the acidic water the calcium and magnesium ion are thus retained by the cation exchanger bed and gives back the hydrogen ion from the cation exchange bed this is an ion exchanger so the acidic water is passed in the anion exchanger where it absorb all the anions and give equivalent amount of hydroxide ions or we can say there is exchangeable of anions so anion exchangers are the phenol formaldehyde or amine formaldehyde copolymer resin which exchange the hydroxide ions with any anions present in the dissolved salt the anion exchangers are represented by the formula r dash oh r dash for phenol formaldehyde or we can say for amine formaldehyde copolymer so we write it as r dash is the general structure of the resin and hydroxide is the exchangeable anion so there is exchangeable of anions with the hydroxide so all the anions are retained over in the exchange anion exchanger bed 
and we get exchangeable hydroxide ions. For an ion exchange of it reaction which is represented by R dash OH. So this is the acidic water like HCl, H2SO4, H2CO3, HNO3. So this is the acidic water where all the anions are present in the form of chloride, sulfate, nitrate and carbonate which are being retained by the anion exchanger bed like R dash Cl, R dash SO4, carbonate and the nitrate. They are being retained by the anion exchanger bed and it gives hydroxide ions from the anion exchanger bed. So from the cation we get hydrogen ion, anion we get hydroxide ion, we get the deionized water. The water which is coming out from the exchanger is free from all the ions known as deionized water. Now the regeneration. Regeneration where the cations exchanger bed and anion exchanger bed both of them are exhausted then it is regenerated. Now here we can see the cation exchanger bed are regenerated by using HCl solution. So what we get in this that the exhausted cation and exchanger anion exchanger bed they are regenerated by using HCl or H2SO4 solution. In this we see the hydrogen ions are exchanged with the cations like calcium and the magnesium ion. So they are exchanged this hydrogen with calcium and this hydrogen with magnesium. Here we can see and this bed is again regenerated. Again it is RH. It is also RH and this calcium chloride, magnesium chloride it is given out as the washing through the sink. Now for the anion exchanger, it is regenerated by using NaOH solution. So sulfate and carbonate, these both are the anions. So they are being exchanged with the hydroxide ions. And again, the anion exchanger bed is regenerated. And sodium sulfate and sodium carbonate, they are being removed through the sink or it is drained out. So the washing containing calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, it is drained out through the sink and similarly we can see here the exhausted anion exchanger, it is treated with NaOH solution. Now we can see the advantages. First, highly acidic or alkaline water sample can be purified by this process. The hardness possessed by the deionized water is 2 ppm. The deionized water is most suitable for high pressure boilers. Now the disadvantage. The ion exchanging resins are expensive. Raw water should contain turbidity below 10 ppm. So thank you.